acorn and delicata squash soup, everyone. I am just on my soup game this coming winter, and I'm all excited for it because it's a great way to prep food throughout the week. So you can see I got my delicata squash, just scraping out the seeds, just cut those in halves. What we're gonna do a little bit different than our last soup is bake the squash prior. So we have the delicata getting the seeds out. Again, just cut them in half. I got the acorn cutting it in half. Get the seeds out. And then I got them up on parchment paper and a baking sheet, putting a little salt over them just to help the squash sweat a little bit and open up some pores. And I'm going to dabble them with some avocado oil. And you're just going to add a little bit of water into the pan so it helps do a little bit more convection baking. Pop that oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Pop the, of, or the uh, squash in, let it cook for about 40 minutes. And in that time, just go ahead and get the other veggies prepped. A whole white onion and some garlic cloves. A little lemon, slice that up, squeeze it. I don't know if you about you, but I don't want seeds in my meal. This helps me de or eliminate the seeds from the equation. Careful, don't squeeze it too hard and get it in your eye. All right, squash is done. We're gonna go ahead and peel the skin. While we're doing that as well, go ahead and get a Dutch oven, get some olive oil in there, pour your onions and your garlic. Reason being is you're gonna let that squash sit. You're not gonna be able to peel that squash straight out of the oven. So let it sit for about 15 minutes, cool off, and voila. That took about 10 minutes. Dump in the squash to your Dutch oven with the onions and garlic. Pour your lemon juice, your coconut milk, two cans. I did a total of three cans here of organic coconut milk. Next, we're adding in some kettle and fire bone broth, chicken bone broth. About a cup and a half here. Next, we're adding in the, the seasonings, the salt, some pepper, and some dried oregano. All right, go ahead and mix that in. You're gonna cover it and cook for about 15 to 20 minutes on medium heat. And it's done, time for the emulsion blender. You can use this with a regular blender, but I don't recommend it because you have to do it in batches. So simple, just getting a wand, spend that 30 bucks, get a wand. And voila, soup.